a pose, yeah. <laughs> so, in your opinion, just three things that, besides prayer, so two maybe, that we can, how can we help Israel? Like, I mean, I do think, there's things I do, but is there, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to like, there may be something I don't even know, and that question's for you too, Joel. Like, uh, how to help Israel? Besides um, praying. It's a hard one. Yeah. Uh, keep telling people about Israel. I think more people coming over here and understand the reality. That's, yeah. That makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure what's your opinion uh, about uh, John F. Kennedy. Uh, but when you when he was here and he asked Ben Gurion, Ben Gurion, what can I do for Israel? So Ben Gurion told him, uh, go back home and make your country as uh, as great as you can. So basically, what's good for you, uh, what's good, good for your for you. country, will be good for us. Right. So basically, yeah. what he's saying is re-elect Trump. That's I mean, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 should, I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't use Let's this. Let's go, uh, Brian. Uh, Brandon. I, I shouldn't Let's use this phrase. Uh, but uh, no, seriously. I mean, no, yeah. uh, it's. I think we are we are bind together, and uh, we need we need America to be strong and. Uh, we hope uh, area. we need to pray to God to send some uh, wisdom to our politicians that really yeah. 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 yeah our way also no no I was I talking about your way we need the same thing Israel needs is we yeah need a, we need a spiritual revival yeah mm -hmm. God using all kind of people, but uh, we really need uh, leaders that are bigger than life and can lead us in this storm. Yeah. And, uh, so that, that's my that's my prayer. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, hey Ron, one thing that really impressed Dean and I, we were talking last night about it, is that a couple of you mentioned this, that you brought up your family. I want to spend more time with my family, my wife, and my kids. That really meant a lot to us because. We were talking about how when you're at a certain age and you're building your business, your kids need you the most and your wife needs you the most. And we went the wrong way. We, we ended up ruining our marriage. Um, the kids left and we had a great business, great careers, but we were strangers. And so that meant a lot to hear you say that and do that, you know, really give yourself to your family because it says, you know, was a prophet a man? If you gain the whole world, you lose your soul. Well, we experience was a prophet if you have a great career and you lose your family. We lost our kids. You know, most of them are not walking with the Lord. And, um, and we lost each other. Had to get that back. And, you know, you work to do these things, have money and have a career for your family, but if you lose your family, you know, it's terrible. So, we're really impressed that you're, you're making the right choices, you're going in the right direction, you're choosing your family, making the right choices. And I know it's like to travel all the time, and it's just the, the, the those years where they're little. It, you know, it's a cliche, but it does. It just it just blows by so fast. Yeah. My, my parents got divorced when I was young, so uh, when I was 13 years old, uh, 13 years old, my parents got divorced. So before I became a tour guide, I actually interview other tour guides because uh, I was on my way to uh, second degree in business management and economics. Uh, I, I was a business consultant. Uh, kind of like, uh, I was I was thinking if to change my occupation or not. And I remember myself walking uh, guy by guy and asking them questions about what can you tell me about this profession? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, just tell me everything that uh, you have to share with me. Like uh, I'm thinking about it seriously. Uh, I've been guiding since I'm 12, uh, 12 years old. Oh, wow. I'm not tour guiding. That, you know, that's maybe the, one of the biggest differences between me and other guides because I was first a guide and then I became a tour guide. I was guiding uh, in the youth 
recruitment and in the army and, and, and the business. So and later I became a tour guide. So um, many other guides were like army or bus drivers or other things they did, and then they became tour guides. And, and it's a different. Um, so many guides told me different things, but two things all the guides told me: uh, they all love what they do. I mean, all the Israeli tour guides, they love what they do. Maybe some of them, after, I don't know how many years, getting tired from it, but most of them, 99%, really love what they do. And the second thing they told me, that they regret not spending more time with their uh, uh, wife and kids. Yeah. So I made this decision back then. And, and, and again, I, I think that the older tour guides, they really, they really didn't have this option. I mean, uh, you probably didn't have much option I mean, when, no. when, when you had to make those choices. Right. But my generation can learn from your generation or, uh, mm -hmm. and, and try, to, uh, try to learn and, uh, from, from other people's experience. Yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Especially with the Until today, I don't have uh, family dinners with my family, like with my mom. Even now for the Passover, I can't see them because the moment that the parents divorce, it's getting complicated. He's married, she's married. Yeah. It's hard to get all the three brothers together. And, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I adopted my, my, uh, my wife's family, I adopted. Yeah, very <laughs> good. Yeah. Well, yeah. they adopted me. Yeah. So, you know, last night when we were talking, Stephen, we were going to be praying for your ministry. Yeah. And uh, praying the Lord will direct y'all and the pastor wants you to go. And, you know. Do you have a Facebook or some sort of social media thing we can keep up with you on? His coffee shop. Facebook. Yeah. We're all going to buy coffee, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, coffee. Yeah. So that was, I think everyone knows the story there. Everyone knows that I'm. I'm staying here tonight in Tel Aviv, and y'all are going on to the airport. Yeah. So I'll say bye to y'all after this. But we created that business to fund missions to Israelis, to secular, Orthodox, ultra Orthodox, doesn't matter. Because that's the ministry we've done. So we've been doing that for five years. So when you buy coffee from us, 20% goes to real missionaries, real people, right, that are serving the gospel in different capacities. Um, so it's to support missionaries in Israel? Well, if we come back, then we will be <coughs> yeah, the missionaries in Israel. But currently it's mainly supporting missions with Israeli backpackers. Oh, good. Right in, in the fall in Israel. So that's what we did. So, um, but it's it's has supported Joel and his family, FAI Dalton and those guys. Different, but it's going to individuals. So... What I wanted to create was a business that said, hey, fund missionaries, but it gives back to you, right? Instead of just give money away, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, so that's the idea. So you'll be supporting us and, our, and my family. You're also supporting missions. We're hoping to double this year, and that will give us the opportunity to possibly start a shop in the Golan. That's, we're, we're really thinking about that. Um, the miracles that have to happen. Our, our hearts are ready, and the business is really ready. It, it, it can happen by the end of this year, even. So, please be praying for it and praying for us. You need to check the the village where I'm going to live now. What, what what's the village? They, they have some uh, small businesses over there, and it's kind of the small commercial center in the in the area. Which one is it? Aniam. 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 It's, uh, it's right over the Sea of Galilee. It's like 15-20 uh, minutes drive from the Sea of Galilee. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, before we head out, can can we just have an opportunity, whoever wants to, to pray for you three guys that yes. have just made yeah. this such a special trip for yeah. us? So we can sit here. So we have dedicated your lives to Israel. Let's stand around and pray. Just in time for the Muslim calling prayer. That's because we're going to do the real call. Right.
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you so much, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your mercy, for your greatness, Father. You've just uh, blessed us so much with these three men, Lord, who uh, have, have Israel in their heart, Father, and they just have such a dedication to this country and to, to your word, Father, and I just thank you for the opportunity that we've had to listen to their teaching and to their uh, history and to just get uh, a, an insight into this culture and these people, Lord. Help us just to love them like they love them, Father, and like you love them. And I pray that you would bless each and every one of them. They all have distinct, separate ministries, Father. And I just pray that you would cause them to flourish uh, and to be um, just... Uh, just, just spread your word to these people that look, you love so much, Lord. I uh, pray for their families, God, that you would just meet their needs, their children, their wives, uh, the rest of their family, Lord. And just thank you so much, God. I just love them already like I've known them forever, and I thank you so much. Father, I just thank you that you have brought us all together and that there's a there's a reason and a purpose. And Lord, I pray as we go home, Lord, that we would uh, you would speak to us about how we how we are to live our lives going forward in regards to Israel and just what you would have us to do in our community, our family, the people around us, and what we would do for Israel. And I just pray for these three men. And Lord, I pray that there's. Uh, I thank you that you have brought them together, that there, you would use them uh, together and apart to do the work that you have called them to do. And we just thank you for that. And Lord, I specifically want to pray for Joel's family, for his wife, Lord, that you would just, you would just heal her body, help her to not have pain, Lord. Just be with the children and all of them when he's away, and help the kids be helpers at home, and and uh, just keep their family in sync when he's away, Lord. I know it's hard for him, and uh, we just ask for blessings on them and, and healing hands on his life, Lord. Lord, I just want to lift up these three men and thank you for bringing them into our lives. Thank you for this opportunity, and Lord, I just ask that she would just guard them um, direct them and thank you for their passion and that they share them with us and um, just uh, take everybody safely where they're supposed to go. Mm -hmm.